Hey folks, welcome back to another Catch At. Uh, I am Brad Wilber, LC Sports Information Director, and uh, we are joined once again. This is it's two weeks in a row, Coach. You're here. <laughs> He's here, Co He's here, folks. Coach Mike Burns uh, joining me uh, to talk some LC baseball as they uh, started up the season last week, a uh, game against Centenary, and then two home games against Champion Christian, and a uh, two-in-one week overall. Um, did we talk about the Centenary game already? Uh, I think we might have. Might have we did, bit, yeah. because that was between the two. Uh, the, it was on Monday, and then anyway. Uh, so we won't talk about that. We'll talk about the wins against Champion Christian. Um, two... Two games, two pretty easy wins. Um, just, it's kind of one of those games where you just want to kind of get your feet wet, sort of deal. You schedule them uh, like that on purpose, I guess. And uh, so, what, what did you think? What did you see from uh, from our guys uh, in those two games that you liked? Well, we saw a lot of good things. We played two completely different teams, both both games, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we got good production out of everybody, pitching, hitting, uh, played decent defense. Everything was good. Uh, we won both games. Uh, and we're excited about it when it ended. No injuries. Right. Uh, so we had a good weekend starting out, and we got you know we won two in a row, and uh, we're ready to get get going this weekend against Austin College. Yeah, and I know for and I know for you, then this has been this way since I've been here, since you've been around. You know, you like to see and use these early season games, especially these non-conference games, to kind of get you, for you and the coaching staff to get a better sense of. Who the nine? Who the, the you know the first DH is going to be, or the first pinch hitter is going to be? And so, do you have a little better idea after these two games going into this weekend? Yeah, we have still got some questions, question marks, but we've we've got uh, probably five or six guys already was established that we know we're going to be using them on a regular basis. But everything else, we try to look at depth. You right. know, before we get into conference play, uh, you know, an injury here, injury there, we don't we want to make sure that we can just hand the baton mm -hmm. to the next guy. So that's why we give a lot of guys reps early in the season to find out uh, who can help us on weekends. And our goal is to get into the conference tournament. And uh, the wins will take care of themselves. The wins, are, the losses are going to happen. But we just want to be depth-wise, able to go and be able to be there in that last week of the season. And that's what we fight for. Right. Uh, so talk a little bit about this weekend. you got uh, four more games coming up, non-conference uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, both 1 o'clock starts uh, at Billy Allgood Field uh, against Austin College, a team we went to play last year at their place. So. Um, I mean, what can you tell us about this year's team and what are you looking for out of, out of our team? Well, Austin College is coming in with, uh, I think, seven starters back. And they've got mm -hmm. all their pitching staff back. Uh, uh, they had a decent ball club, nice ball club last year. Uh, they're coming in. They lost their first four games this year because of the weather. So this is going to be their opening weekend. So we know they're going to come in hungry. Luckily, we've got a couple games under our belt. And... Uh, we're going to be able to get after it uh, doubleheader on Saturday and then play two games on Sunday. Everybody could come uh, after church and, and spend a day afternoon at the ballpark and eat a hot dog and yeah. and uh, have a great day. I mean, I don't know why you would want anything more than that. Anything right? better. That's church like in eating the morning, steak on Sunday. Yeah, church in the morning, have your Sunday afternoon lunch at the ballpark, skip the nap, enjoy some uh, baseball. You know, I don't know what doesn't more. It doesn't get any right, better than right, that. That's right. Uh, well, we got a couple of minutes before we wrap up here. Uh, and. And one of the things I definitely wanted to ask you about too was, you know, in a game, in games like we saw last weekend, where you know we score forty something runs in the two games, sometimes it's one guy maybe that or a couple of guys that really have standout uh, series. But from just looking at the stats, there was there was nobody that really just blew it out of the water. But it was more of like one through nine, and like you said, both games that really contributed to that many runs and, and that many hits and all that sort of stuff. So that's got to be encouraging for you, too. Well, well, you know, top to bottom, like you said, one through nine, that's what that's what makes you successful. And then in pitching, everybody's got nice start in pitching. It's the bullpen. It's who comes out of that bullpen. That's what wins championships is pitching. So that's what we're trying to define right now. We're trying to find those seven, eight guys that can come out of the bullpen and help us late in the ball game. Because we've had we've we've blown a lot of leads late in the game over the years with not having a, a decent bullpen. Well, this year we think we've got a lot of depth. We don't have any superstars. They just all believe in each other. They believe in the system, and that's what we're working for. And I think at the end that's what's going to carry us over the hump and, and get us into the conference tournament. So, you know, that's what we're shooting for right now. Give a lot of guys a chance, and they understand their role. And then once we do that, we're going to be successful. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching once again this week. Remember, uh, four more games at home this week as uh, Wildcats take on Austin College, the uh, the Kangaroos or the Roos, however you want to refer to them as. Uh, one o'clock first pitch in the doubleheader on Saturday. 
one o'clock start on Sunday as well. So just come on out and enjoy the weekend at the Billy. It's gonna be fun. Coach, thanks for watch or thanks for coming in. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is Cat Chat with Brad Welburn. We'll see you next week.